Now, in this lecture, we're going to talk about mind mapping done right. I know that there's a lot of people who, who know what mind mapping is and they understand it, but they don't really know what it's about. They know what mind mapping is in general. But when it comes to them actually sitting down and writing a mind map and using one, it becomes a lot more complicated because they realize that there's a lot more essential and core values and principles that they don't know when it comes to mind mapping. That's exactly why we're going to talk about the five essential principles that you need to know in order for you to be able to mind map uh, properly. So um, the five principles are the main idea, the core, the branches, the sub branches, the core enhancing and the structure enhancing. I'm going to talk about each and every principle in different lectures uh, just so to be able to understand them better. But very quickly, the main idea is, is the core idea. It's the idea that you need to start with. The branches are uh, basically what you brainstorm out of this main idea and you get different ideas out of it. Then you have the sub branches, which is brainstorming and figuring out bits and pieces of the branch. That is basically the branch that came from the main idea. So if you're taking the main idea as a branch, and then you have the branches as a sub branch, and yet then you have the sub branches as sub sub branches. Um, it's getting a bit complicated, but you'll get it. And then core enhancing, which is working on the core of the mind map, and structure enhancing, also working on the structure for it to become more effective. You'll find eventually how easy mind mapping can get. Um, the other problem that people face after accomplishing perfect mind mapping is execution. So a lot of people, they know what mind mapping is. They know how to get the core idea. They know how to do the branches, the sub branches, adding colors, images, uh, textures to it, uh, adding some highlights or some legends to the page. And then they, they have this perfect mind map in front of them, but they fail at executing. They have the mind map and they know how to get to where they want to get in order for them to accomplish this goal, for example. But there is poor execution. So having a mind mapping strategy that works, but having poor quality in terms of execution will not get you to become more productive, will not save you time, will not make you more creative, and, and mind mapping would be useless eventually. So the only way a mind mapping works properly is to take it step by step, uh, to hit the sub branches and eventually hit the core. Poor execution will lead to a brick wall. Um, when you don't follow through with the execution when you just do mind maps just for the sake of doing them uh, why are you even doing them to begin with if you are just if you are going to skip the execution part and you're not going to follow through why doing a mind map first of course you might do a mind map and realize that for example the goal that you put is unrealistic or it's not a smart goal and you need to change the mind map um, but that doesn't mean that this mind map became useless because this mind map taught you that you need to figure out another mind map. But if you put a mind map and you just don't use it for, for any reason, then you're just wasting your time. You're not, you're not even using mind mapping to become more productive because, well, you're not uh, executing, but you're also wasting time building this mind map when you're not using it in the first place. So um, we're going to be covering also uh, principles that would help with the execution, uh, the planning, such as information structuring, productivity enhancement, creativity enhancement, memory and recall improvements, mind mapping in the workplace, school and studying, speeches, presentations, and a lot more, uh, smart goals, and, and the, four, the four learning principles or the four, the four learning stages that each and every person goes through in order for them to acquire information, process it, and, and store it inside of them. Uh, information structuring, want to teach you guys how to uh, be able to structure the information properly for you to be able to use it for mind mapping and other stuff, how to be productive, how to use mind mapping to be productive, and also how to uh, the other ways that you can that you have uh, for you to be able to become more productive and eventually uh, become more productive in mind mapping, uh, getting more creative because mind mapping is made for you to work the right hemisphere of your, of your brain, uh, thus becoming more creative. So we want to go through the ways that you use mind mapping in a creative way. Plus, we want to teach you ways that you can also enhance your creativity. And eventually, this will help you also building mind mapping, you'll be able to become more creative with your mind maps more productive and the information flow will be easier. 
Uh, memory and recall improvements, one of the most essential parts and one of the essential elements when it comes to mind mapping is that it helps with memory and recall. And we're going to go through how it can actually help you properly with memory and recall improvements. And what are some other strategies that you can use for you to improve your memory and recall. And eventually want to go through uh, mind mapping in the workplace. I want to show you an example of if you have a certain project or a certain task at a workplace, how can you mind map it? Uh, we're going to also go through, for example, essays. If you want to mind map an essay, how do you mind map it step by step? I'm going to put a subject. We're going to mind map it. Mind mapping is school and studying, which is related. You have an exam, you have a course, you have a semester. Mind mapping speeches and presentations. Even we're going to go through mind mapping career steps, or if you have a job interview, or you have a certain fitness routine. Uh, then we're going to talk about smart goals, because uh, your goal needs to be uh, S uh, M A R T which means uh, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. But of course, we're going to talk about more later. And the four learning principles, the four learning stages, uh, going from uh, unconscious incompetence all the way to unconscious uh, competence. And of course, we're going to talk about it more when we get to it. Uh, and then once you do, once you learn all of these things, uh, you'll be able to master mind mapping and not just that you'll be able to master a lot of uh, other things like productivity creativity uh, memory and recall improvements information and execution and of course uh, setting smart goals and being uh, able to follow through with them and uh, now when we're going to get to to the sections where we're going to be talking about uh, as we said productivity and creativity and all the extra things there's going to be some repetition because I want to make sure that you guys understand how mind mapping relates to productivity and creativity and all the different concepts that we want to talk about. But if you got this course just to learn how to mind map, um, you don't have to go, uh, to go through the rest because you'll feel like there's some rep repetition. Uh, and of, of course, eventually repetition is essential for a person to be able to grasp the, in the information. Actually, when we're going to talk about memory and recall improvements... We're going to talk about how repeating an information uh, maybe uh, around 30 times can help you actually uh, retain this information and, and keep it sort of inside of you better. But anyways, um, if, you are, if you just want to learn how to mind map, you can just go through the section and learn how mind mapping works and watch some examples of me doing mind mapping. But if you also want to explore more than that, go through the details and the concepts that go above mind mapping for you to be able to eventually uh, mind map properly because all of these concepts eventually will help you with the mind mapping process um, if, if that's what you want just uh, follow through and watch the entire course otherwise you can just stick to the examples and to the section related to uh, how mind mapping works and also you'll be good to go you don't have to waste a lot of time as soon as you finish this section about how to how to do mind mapping properly and you follow through with the examples you'll understand it properly and you'll be able to execute uh, mind maps without having to go through the different sections. But as I said, having more information is always better. Uh, your mind maps will become more, more effective and you as a person will learn a lot of things that you can use, whether, it's, uh, when it, whether it comes to mind mapping or other areas in your life.